Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So I basically decided to throw the book buying ban out the window and we are heading to Barnes and Nobles. I absolutely love book trips, so I'm super excited. There are a few books that I have in mind that I want to grab. And then I also thought about going to Target because I feel like Target has some really good deals on books. So I wanted to bring you guys along with me and bring you guys book shopping with me. And then afterwards, I will go ahead and give you guys a book haul.
we are finally home. So we went to Barnes and Noble. I'll tell you guys a little bit more about why I went to um, two Targets. I feel like I got some really good reads today. I think I do need to start limiting like how many books I buy at a time. And then since I also have my Kindle, I could really be reading some books on there, but I just really enjoy reading a physical copy. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get right into the book haul. Okay, so from Barnes and Nobles, I picked up I picked up five books. So the first one is Made in Manhattan by Lauren Lane. I read the back of this and just thought it sounded really, really cute. Raised in the privileged world of Upper East Side Manhattan, Violet Townsend always says the right things, wears the right clothes, and never rocks a boat. So when a friend of her beloved grandmother asked Violet to teach her newly discovered grandson how to fit in with the city's elite, she immediately agrees. Her task to get Kane Stone ready to take his place as heir to his family company, but he's not exactly an eager student. So I just read to you guys just a little half of the back summary. So I'm really excited to read this one. I know it's not like the same kind of storyline or anything, but the Made in Manhattan um, with Jennifer Lopez, I love that movie. I had it on my TBR, so I decided to go ahead and just pick it up. Okay, so the next one is Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter, but The Love Wager by Lynn Painter is one of my all-time favorite books. And so whenever I was um, looking at this book, they had a little table and I shared some of the clips, but in case I didn't, I'm going to put a little picture right here. And Lynn Painter will actually be there at Barnes and Nobles on Sunday. Um, so I'm really excited. I'm hoping to be able to make it. She is going, I believe it was probably like around 11 in the morning, but I'm hoping to be able to make it and get, um, I haven't read this one, but I've heard really good things. So I'm hoping that she will sign this for me. And then also the love wager. If I do go, um, I'm still a little shy about vlogging in public places. I may or may not go. And if I do, I will do my best to try and bring you guys along with me. But I loved the love wager. So I heard really good reviews about this book. And whenever I was picking it up, the worker there was actually like, oh my gosh, like I absolutely love that book. And then her other coworker showed up and was like, oh my gosh, that is my favorite book. I'm rereading it currently. So anyways, nothing but good things about this one. So I'm really excited to read this one. And then another one that I picked up was Love and Gelato. I thought the cover was really cute, but then I also heard some really good things about this one. So this one says, Lena is spending the summer in Tuscany, but she isn't in the mood for Italy's famous sunshine and fairy tale landscape. She's only there because it was her mother's dying wish that she get to know her father. But what kind of father isn't around for 16 years? All Lena wants to do is go back home. But then she is given a journal that her mom had kept when she lived in Italy. Suddenly, Lena's uncovering a magical world of secret romances, art, and hidden bakeries. A world that inspires her, along with the ever so charming Wren, to follow in her mother's footsteps and unearth a secret that has been kept for far too long. It's a secret that will change everything Lena knew about her mother, her father, and even herself. People come to Italy for the love and gelato, someone tells her, but sometimes they discover much more. I'm really excited to hopefully read this one this summer. I do have quite a big list of books to get through. Okay, and then this one I've actually been wanting. I forgot when it was, but the day that I went to Barnes & Nobles, this book had just been released, and I didn't go for it because I also don't, I'm not a fan of hardcover books. I prefer paperback books, but I'm not against a hardcover book. So I actually went ahead and got The Happy Place. And it was $5 off, so I couldn't pass this up, but I've heard really good reviews, how everybody loves this one. I think I mentioned that I haven't read an Emily Henry book. I did grab Beach Read from her, but I haven't gotten to it. But I really have high hopes for this book. So if you guys watched my last vlog, this past weekend we went to go see Kane Brown in North Little Rock, Arkansas. And I was fangirling so hard, but I was um, of course yelling, hollering at the concert. It was super fun. Thing is the next day I noticed I started to lose my voice and it hasn't really gotten back to like 100%. So my voice still sounds a little raspy. Okay, and then this last book, I've had my eyes on it for quite some time. I had it in my Amazon cart and I saw it today and had to pick it up. But it is You Shouldn't Have Come Here by Geneva Rose. This one sounded so, so good. Grace Evans, an overworked New Yorker looking for a total escape from her busy life, books an Airbnb on a ranch in the middle of Wyoming. When she arrives at the idyllic getaway, she's pleased to find that the owner is a handsome man by the name of Calvin Wills. 
and he's eager to introduce her to his easygoing way of life. But there are things Grace discovers that she's not too pleased about. A lack of cell phone service, a missing woman, and a feeling that something isn't right with the ranch. I cannot wait to read this one. So that is all I picked up from Barnes & Noble. I went to two different Targets and I'll say why for last. But then at Target, I picked up a Colleen Hoover book. Um, I didn't get into like my Colleen Hoover era or anything. The only Colleen Hoover books that I have is It Ends With Us and It Starts With Us. Um, I did absolutely love It Starts With Us, but it ends with us. I believe a lot of people really love It Ends With Us, but these are the only two Colleen Hoover books that I have ever read. And so I decided to pick up Never Never. I honestly did love Colleen Hoover's writing. Um, I love the emotions that she was able to like pull out of me. And I don't know, so I really enjoy her writing style in these two books. So I figured I'd go ahead and get another Colleen Hoover book. I feel like It Ends With Us and It Starts With Us were really like good, quick reads. So I'm kind of hoping that this will also be just a quick, easy read. And then the other one that I grabbed was a Funny You Should Ask. I've seen some really good reviews about this, but I feel like this will be like a really good rom-com. So again, high hopes for this one. Okay, and then, so the last, so I have never read a fantasy book and i've really been wanting to get into like a good fantasy series or a good fantasy book but the one that i had been wanting to read was the once upon a broken heart i saw the ballad of never after and i believe that's the second book in that series they had the second book at target but they didn't have part one so i'm probably just going to have to order them but one of my lovely subscribers did recommend this fantasy series and it is a i believe people call it like akatar and it is A Court of Thorns and Roses. So I was super excited to pick up like the whole set. So at Barnes & Noble, this entire set was $93. So I looked it up at Target because I remember going in there about a week or two ago, seeing this set and I could have sworn that I had seen it for $74, $75. And then I went to Target. They didn't have it at the first one that I went to, which, which is where I grabbed the Funny You Should Ask and the Never Never. Um, they didn't have it there and they had one left in stock at the second Target that I went to. And then not just that, if you guys didn't know, you can price match Target's online prices. So again, at Barnes & Noble, this set was $93. And then at Target, this one was about $75, but their online price was $55. So I got it for almost, almost half the price. So I was super excited and I couldn't pass it up. So I went ahead and grabbed this whole set. I feel like everybody enjoys all of the books. And I feel like this series has really good reviews. I was chit-chatting with one of my lovely subscribers and I was letting her know that I do want to get into a fantasy book. And her top recommendation was of course this one. So I'm really, really looking forward to starting this series. But these are all of the books that I picked up today. I am so excited. I also have some books on my Kindle. I recently read Reckless, no. I recently read Flawless, which is part one of the Chestnut Spring series. And I enjoyed that book way more than I thought. I absolutely loved Rhett and Summer. And then, so I seen they have about three other books. And then I think the fifth book is dropping sometime this year. So I want to also get through that series. I just have so many like good book recs that I want to get through but I wanted to share my books with you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed this book shopping vlog. Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you so much for subscribing and chatting with me down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.